birdhouses are a fun way to bring a little personality and life to the homestead. It's a nice dry fall day and I'm going to get to a project that I've been meaning to do for a while. Birdhouses are a fun way to bring a little personality and life to the homestead. First a little backstory. I've got a rental property in Portland and several years ago I built several birdhouses to cap some of the 4x4 posts. You know when you build a fence sometimes the 4x4s just stick up a little too far for the fence boards. Well, rather than just trim them flush, I thought it'd be nice to do some birdhouses to just kind of decorate along there so it looked like they were left there intentionally. Anyway, that fence needed some repair work recently. So I took the birdhouses down and decided I'd really enjoy them more out here. This one didn't need any repair work at all. I kind of like it's uh, I kind of like the weathered look for a little church birdhouse. This front part was a, a table leg, actually a, just a table leg blank that I got at Home Depot, but cut to, to fit just how I needed to. Uh, the cross here on top is just a little piece of plywood The sides are a little fancy with some wide trim work. And I cut out the space for the stained glass window in the back. It's designed to come on and off really pretty easy with just a couple of screws. It actually doesn't matter to me one way or the other if birds use this or not. Mostly it's just supposed to be fun to look at. 
I wanted to put this one here specifically because it's one of the smallest, most compact birdhouses. And I just didn't want to kind of brush up against it or have it feel like it was impeding anything coming up and down this path. We originally put this post in to secure this fallen tree in place. Just to make sure it doesn't roll down the slope and disturb some of our trail access out here. When we put the post in, I intentionally left it fairly tall because I knew I wanted to put a birdhouse on top. Now I'm fairly tall, so walking down this path and stepping up onto this log really isn't a problem for me, but some people who have shorter legs might struggle a little bit with it. And rather than have this very tempting but relatively fragile birdhouse right here as a handle for people to grab onto. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a grab bar right there. This birdhouse, the Love Shack, was actually the very first one that I've ever built. All it needed was a new perch attached. I'll show you a clip of me doing that. So this birdhouse just needs a new perch, but putting this on will let me show you a little better about how I built this in the first place. So I built, out of good cedar boards, the skeleton of the, of the birdhouse, and then just capped it all off with these older weathered boards. And for the heart, I had used some hole saws that just fit into the drill like a drill bit to cut the circles, and then simply cut it to, to join up the heart.
this enough so I can see it poking through. There we go. I built a few of these actually. My mom has one and I think there's still one at the old house where we used to live before we moved out here. What do you think, little striker? You like your new birdhouse? Yeah, I thought so.